Hi and welcome to my tutorial and update on the Apple TV running Leopard. Um, there's a few things I wanted to educate a few people about on how to speed up their Apple TV if they were to run it as a full OS. Um, last time I had kind of gone through it a little bit but not very much so I'm going to go through a more thorough tutorial on how to speed up your OS on the Apple TV. So here it is, the Apple TV. Um, as you can see I'm running a few apps, I'm running iTunes which is one that I had run previously, but I'm also running Handbrake, which is quite a processor intensive application. Well, for a Handbrake, it takes about half of the uh, half of the megs or RAM, megs of the RAM to operate. So it's quite a processor intensive op application. A few things that uh, I wanted to tell you that you can do with your Apple TV and how to make them more efficient are if you go into the finder preferences right there you can go through the advanced options and uncheck all of the advanced options you can go through the sidebar and uncheck all the unnecessary things in the sidebar you can go in the labels and leave it alone <laughs> and you could also go and uncheck all the general things in the preferences um, or in the general preferences of the finder this will actually free up about four or five megs of RAM in itself, which is quite a bit, to be honest with you. Um, another few things you can do are go into the system preferences here. Give it a sec. So this is my system preferences. If you go up here to the appearances and you go to the recent items, set them to none because that's also another background process you don't want to have keep running. Um, it has about two or three megs of RAM to keep those those background processes going. Um, also, if you go to displays, yeah, I know it freaks out like that. It doesn't show that last one. Um, if you go to displays and keep the resolution at 640 by 480, uh, I'm using this thing as a kind of a uh, always on computer. So I'm not looking for like, quality resolutions or even a lot of viewing angles or anything like that. The only thing I'm looking for is it to work through iTunes so I can use it with my other Apple TV to display my big screen. Um, uh, if you keep the resolution really small, it changes the, the amount of um, processes that are going on in the GPU and also taking it to a thousand over here, taking it to a thousand colors. Um, will also reduce the the taxing on the GPU and effectively turning it into a second core so the Apple TV basically becomes a dual core and it can do applications like Handbrake at that point. Um, another thing you may want to do is go down through your sharing options and make sure that only screen sharing or only screen sharing and file sharing is on. Um, that's going to have a massive effect on keeping your uh, processes low. Uh, <clears throat> And if you noticed, I have a black background. The reason I have a black background is, is one, the easiest to use for memory usage because it's only a 12 by 12 pixel black color. So in the, in the um, operating system, it, it can overwrite it pretty quickly. Um, as you can see, when I turn on iTunes, downsized of course, which is small, but uh, it can open applications rather quickly. Um, another thing is that I took out all the, the preference bar menus up here. The only thing I have is screen sharing. Um, and I deleted Spotlight from the computer altogether. Uh, it's hard to do. It makes it very difficult to log in. But the thing is, is your memory usage for your Apple TV will be much, much better. Um, in fact, I think I'm running the OS on about... 110 to 112 megs and the rest is going with the uh, applications so it's pretty speedy now um, another thing I did is I hacked the hardware to use a SSD I'm using an Intel SSD second gen um, same gigabytes as the original hard drive but it sure is speedy now um, this thing's geek benching probably around 14 1500 which is the same thing as a Mac mini so uh, thanks for watching my tutorial, um, and see you next time. Bye.